Hi, I'm Ian Schumann, the newest consultant at Bluefish Development Group, and today I want to tell you about the Edit Online feature in Alfresco Share. This feature can be especially useful if, for example, you have uh, several Microsoft Office documents, maybe Excel spreadsheets, that have cross-reference dependencies, uh, and having to edit them offline, meaning download them locally, would break those dependencies and be a cumbersome process. So using the Edit Online feature, we can also make use of Alfresco's integration with the Microsoft SharePoint protocol and make those changes online uh, without breaking those dependencies. Uh, I'd like to show you an example of how this works, so let's take a look. Okay, so we have two Excel spreadsheets that are going to demonstrate what we're doing here. Uh, the first is a catch report for the bluefish fishery. Very nice. We have a little naval humor for you. Um, what we're doing here is tracking the net catches of each of these vessels through the course of May. This is just a ledger, essentially, um, and this totals up the, uh, the individual items here using a simple sum function. That looks great. Okay. This will be our source document. That's how I'll, I'll continue to refer to it. And then our second document is the dependent file. So this is going to end up being a monthly catalog, creating a yearly total of what, what we uh, just saw in the previous document. So this here is the dependency. It points to the first document, the source spreadsheet that I just showed you, um, and references the, uh, the total that you saw at the bottom. So this should be working fine. Nothing fancy going on here yet. What we're going to do is take both of these documents and upload them to our Alfresco repository. And that'll finish up and they'll show up here just fine. And if we check in inside, we should see uh, the normal preview flash rendition here. And if we zoom in, of course, all these are going to be the same. Uh, now, it's important to note here that um, both of these, even though they show up correctly, and this is going to show um, the dependent data brought in here from the first file, um, what you're seeing here is not a live uh, Excel document linking to the first the source file. This is just a flash uh, preview, just a rendition. Now, the reason that flash rendition, uh, the reason I noted that, the reason it's important, is that if we go in and we want to change the information in the source document here. We can use the conventional method of editing this offline, or we could download it and edit it locally. Those two really will do the same thing. Um, and if we make the up update there and re-upload the new version that set has, say, a different number here, like let's say the Titanic scored 20 tons of hull, um, we can make that update and re-upload uh, re this and uh, it'll version it, and that's fine. But of course, after we did that, uh, if we went back into the monthly catch report, where we would hope uh, this number would update, of course it wouldn't, because again, this is the flash rendition. This is just a preview. It's uh, not a, not live. It's not pulling data um, in a dynamic way from that other document. So what we're going to look at today is how to use the Microsoft SharePoint protocol in conjunction with Alfresco Share to make changes to that source file in such a way that this will actually will update. And you can do so without having to download and make those changes locally. So what we're going to look for next is another option here that will say edit online. The reason this is missing here is because uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm logged into uh, a copy of Alfresco that doesn't have the Microsoft SharePoint protocol uh, module installed. Um, if you haven't done that and you don't see an edit online here, um, you can go to uh, the Alfresco docs, um, and there's a whole subsection of uh, installing and configuring Microsoft Office SharePoint protocol support. You can do so via uh, an AMP file. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and shift over to our other copy of Alfresco that I'm running here. And look, there's an edit online button. That's helpful. So now that we have this option, we'll go ahead and make use of it. Hit edit online. It'll give a normal security error. Hit OK. And then, perhaps somewhat slowly the first time, it'll download this file, file. And you'll see this ribbon at the top. I want us to use to enable editing. Let me think about it for a sec. And then we can make some changes here. Now, before we go further, I have to pause here and note that uh, for a lot of you that are trying to follow along, you may encounter uh, a pop-up in the center of the screen here that... Um, 
indicates that data can't be passed or accessed through a basic authentication level that it requires um, an SSL or some kind of security measure like that. Um, if you do see that warning, Windows will ask you if you want to pursue uh, solutions, and that'll lead you to here. And uh, what this will offer you, if you scroll down to the uh, let's see, the workaround section, um, this is a little hack that you need to apply to uh, your uh, registry, your application registry, uh, to allow this data to be passed using basic authentication. You can download this, fix it, and then uh, the issue should be solved uh, once you try it again. So let's say that I have that really great month. Okay, and that's the only change we're going to make. So that'll make quite a bit of difference in this, uh, this particular shell that's being referenced by the other document. We'll go ahead and save that. So we'll think about it for just a moment. Okay. When that's done, if we reload here. You see that it's been versioned at 1.1. And if we zoom in, it's been changed to 20 tons. That works great. Now, of course, if we back out here and look again at the monthly catch report, just as before, we won't see an update here because, as it says, this is just a flash transition. So what we'll need to do is edit online for this one as well. Say OK. So load up in Excel, just like before. One moment. Okay, so we'll enable editing. I'll think about it for a sec, of course. And look at that. It pulled in the new data dynamically. We can save this. We'll upload again. And once that's finished, reload. This will say 1.1. And that cell has been updated, just as we hope. The last thing to note is that while these documents are open via the SharePoint protocol, just as I showed you, uh, they'll be locked automatically. Uh, this is still locked because they still have it open in Excel. So once you save, close the document, uh, give it 5 to 10 seconds, Let's see if it shows it here. It should unlock itself, um, as this one did just a moment ago. And now it's unlocked. So, um, this concludes our demo. Thanks for watching. I hope that was useful for you. Don't forget to check out our other videos on our website at bluefishgroup.com.